Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you so much for your great support always. Now, Kenyans, I'm shocked this afternoon. William Ruto is in Nakuru County. And now he's telling us that American-funded NGO worth two trillion funding anarchy in Kenya. Then, to me, William Ruto has not listened to what Kenyans, especially the Gen Z seed during the demonstration. Now he is back on the street trying to lecture those who it is NGO that is funding the, the anarchy in the Republic of Kenya and the NGO that worth two trillion, it is called Ford Foundation. And so William Ruto, well in Nakuru, is telling us this. I want you to watch the video, then after that, I want to disclose the honor of the Ford Foundation. And when William Ruto met the man in the US, and as you know, William Ruto is the US puppet, but he's complaining about the NGO that is being funded by US. I want you to listen to William Ruto while in Aikuru. But before we do that, ladies and gentlemen, just do me a favor and sure you like the video. This video is going to be so interesting. Do me a favor and sure you like the video. I have realized that sometimes you bump into the video, you watch and you forget liking the video. So like the video. Let us watch what William Ruto is saying this afternoon. We have no use for anarchy and violence and destruction of property and loss of life. Wale ambao wana sponsor hiyo violence. Sisi tunawajua. And I want to call out those who are behind the anarchy in Kenya. Those who are behind the sponsoring the chaos in the Republic of Kenya. Shame on them. Because they are sponsoring violence against our democratic nation. Mimi nataka ni uliza watu wa Ford Foundation watu wambie. Iyo pesa wanatoa, wanatoa ifanye fujo ndio wapate faida gani. We are going to call them out and we are going to tell them if they are not interested in democracy in Kenya, if they are going to sponsor violence, if they are going to sponsor anarchy, we are going to call them out and we are going to tell them they either style up or they leave. Now, Kenyans, as William Ruto is complaining about the Ford Foundation and is being sponsored by NGO from US, what trillion Two trillion Kenya shillings. And so now, as the photo you can see is William Ruto with Alexander Soros, the son of George Soros, and the current head of the Ford Foundation. The head of the Ford foundation. This is the man that William Ruto met in you, U.S. And so he's accusing that it is Ford Foundation that is planning anarchy in the Republic of Kenya. The President William Ruto is surprising us because earlier on his close allies Say it very clear that it was Illuminati that was sponsoring the demonstration of Gen Z's. And if you doubt, just take a look this video where a close ally, a senator from Kiambu, is now, I think he is senator, telling Kenyans that it was Illuminati that was sponsoring Naona kwa haya mambo ya finance bill pasiwe mtu mwenye anachukua wakati huu kupotosha wananchi na mkitaka kujua mtaona kwamba zile video zinazunguka hapa zinaanza na kitu inaitwa illuminati na najua ah, watu wa mmeona wale watu wana sponsor maandamano hapa na Ruby ni group inajiita illuminati na sijui kama nyinyi mnajua illuminati ni akina nani and so According to William Ruto, it is no longer about opposition. 
It is not opposition that is sponsoring the Genesis. Because earlier on they said it is opposition that is likely behind the scene sponsoring the, the Genesis demonstration. Now, they said it very, very clear also that Uhuru Kenyatta is part and parcel of the demonstra demonstration. They told us that regarding a shower behind the scene is sponsoring young men and women to storm the street. Today, William Ruto with regard to Gashagwa in Akuru. Take a look. Hapa niko na Deputy President wa Republic of Kenya. Sia wasalimie. Wacha wasalimie. Gamoja. Asante sana nakuru kwa kumkaribisha kiongozi wetu tukiwa tumefika hapa katika siara ya maendeleo sio ni sawa sawa mumefurahi rais kufika hapa ya maendeleo hata sisi tumefika hapa tutakuwa na rais hapa siku moja tukiangalia maneno ya maendeleo wangapi wanasema tuweke amani katika Kenya amani 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 wewe so now, it is Ford Foundation that is planning anarchy in this country. That is according to William Ruto. It is no longer opposition. It is no longer Uhuru Kenyatta. It is no longer regarding the shovel. It is no longer Illuminati. It is now Ford Foundation. I want to tell you something, Kenyans. We are having a leadership that don't listen. I told you very clearly. They don't listen. Me, I don't care who will sponsor the demonstration. As long as my issues are addressed, I don't care. Even if it will be a church sponsoring the demonstration, I don't care. As long as the issues of the people is being addressed and these punitive leaders are being squeezed into a tight corner and they must realize they are leading Kenyans, not animals. Despite of us being part of animal, but again, the way they are treating us, they're treating us like wild animals in the forest. And so then, the man William Ruto is not listening to the people. He is now back on the streets trying to legitimize his government. The man told us that he's now going to be busy ensuring that the systems are going to work. But he is back on the street again. William Ruto is back on the street with his close allies. The same, same thing. He was doing all along when he was sworn in the office. The same thing he's doing now. What do you expect? A positive result or negative result? Because William Ruto is going to waste a lot of his time. Going around the republic. Having roadside rallies. Trying to legitimize his government and leadership. But William Ruto still has not listened to the issues of the people. I know some, someone will doubt me, but I'm telling you again. He kichwa ya William Ruto hajasikia zile issue wa Kenya wanataka. Wa Kenya hawatai kukujua kwamba hii maandamano ilisponsiwa na Ford Foundation. Ford Foundation mimi ni saidi. As long as even if they sponsor, yes, to ensure that at least our issues are going to be addressed. Hallelujah. I don't have any problem with them. Because it took so long for William Ruto to take the dialogue reports they had with the opposition to be implemented and start by signing the IEBC bill that was passed in the National Assembly. What do you expect? It is the same thing William Ruto is doing. The same thing he did immediately was he sworn in, in the office. Now he has embarked to street rallies. Moving across the Republic of Kenya. Now, Nazile Uwangozaki. So he has not listened to whatever is happening in the country. William Ruto has not even understand what the people want. He's busy there. Culminating all issues that are unnecessary. Kenyans, they want their issues to be addressed. They don't want to listen to about Ford Foundation. They don't want to listen to Illuminati. They, want, they don't want to listen to the opposition. 
They want the government of the day to address their issues. And that is why, even you can see the ground, is not so happy the way it was. People are still doubting William Ruto. Why? Because the man has not listened to their issues. And take it from me. If this is now William Ruto, whatever he has started, don't expect any issues to be addressed. Despite of him dissolving uh, his cabinet, the man is still going to appoint the same, same crooks. You will be shocked if again William Ruto will appoint Kindiki Giture. You will be shocked if William Ruto again will appoint Babu, Babu Namuaba. Why? Because the man has not listened to the people. He's being told, we don't want corrupt people. Utilize the public resources well. But these individuals are flying with our money, enjoying themselves. Motorcades, you know. And that is why when I say William Ruto has not listened to what we are, are trying to address, some people are thinking like, oh, leave alone, leave alone William Ruto. We'll not leave him alone. The truth is he must actualize and implement what he has said. Because the man is double speak. He will speak to, today something, tomorrow he will say something. Ladies and gentlemen, what do you think? Drop your opinion at the comment section below. Otherwise, thank you so much because of your great support. Please consider subscribing, liking, commenting, and sharing this video. Bye-bye till you meet in another video.